Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to Unapologetically Black and Fast 2024. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. If you like more GDQ, you can catch us during our hot fix events like this one. We also have Frost Bay Towels coming up March 3rd through the 10th. Uh, and also, I want to mention, Games Done Quick is looking for a new mainline event volunteer coordinator. Feel free to review the duties and apply at gamesdonequick.com forward slash jobs if you're interested. But up next, it is time for Mega Man and Bass, not Bass, not a fish, Bass, by the one and only Proto Kami, who I'm very excited to be working with. Proto Kami, it is your time to shine. Take it away. How's it going, y'all? Um... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the BFM run. Um, that was definitely a fun thing, a fun run that we had. This is Mega Man and Bass, like uh, Mello said, not the fish, uh, Bass. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely out of the ordinary as far as runs go, as far as like the things that I do. I found that I, um, before this game specifically, I had a, uh, I had a knack for running, um, I guess, magical games with swords so zelda stuff like that brave and super sashi um this kind of stuck out to me more because of the movement and that's why i play that's why you'll see me play uh base and state of instead of mega man um the biggest difference between the two um base has better movement or forte um depending on where you are has better movement in the um on the stages and then obviously uh mega man just hits harder um i think there's not that much of a difference between uh, world record. I think it's only by like a minute and uh, minute and some change, but it all comes down to preference. Um, Mega Man, uh, base is my go-to guy. So we are going to uh, try and showcase some movement um, while we run. So um, timer starts when I uh, select base. So I'm gonna give you a three count. Three, two, one. Go. Speaking of bass, listen to that bass. Like if you guys listen to the music throughout the entire run, um, it's it's. I, I love the soundtrack to this game. It's absolutely amazing. So first part of the run is pretty straightforward. We want to do, be doing a lot of dashing. Um, uh, oh, you know what? Fun fact: This game also came out for the um, the Game Boy Advance. I'm pretty sure, like most of the people in the West, um, that's their experience with it. Um, I would not recommend um, that version. We're gonna take a few uh, hits. Um, you you wouldn't recommend the GBA version? I would not recommend the GBA version at all. <laughs> hmm, good to know. Um, yeah, and this is like one of the late last games to come out for the snacks. Mm-hmm. Um, and only because um, it's the it's the button mapping. So it's very hard to get any if you so like if you enjoy playing bass, it's very hard to get any movement uh, done with this uh, with this character on the Game Boy Advance because. Uh, your dash is a uh, is a button press in this game on the SNES version, and you have to double tap. So imagine having to double tap on top of doing everything else while trying to get through the game. It's not fun. I uh, I definitely tried it. wasn't a pleasant experience for me. <laughs> All right, we saw saw our boy Proto Man get uh, chopped in half here. Um, part of the story. He's okay. He's a champ. He can take a, take a few hits. <laughs> okay, and we start the uh, first boss fight off with the uh, Green Devil. And what I'm doing is I'm um, using Bass's Rapid Fire to kind of open him up. And since there's no iframes uh, between hits, if you move forward slightly uh, as you hit him, Instead of doing, I think it's like one to two if you were to stand still, you end up doing like three to four shots at a time. Or three to four hits on his eye. Sorry. All right. Um, this is slowest boss in the game. Uh, I don't like him. Um, I call him Maytag Man. <laughs> just because he's kind of shaped like a fridge. <laughs> Um, but he has like stupid high defense. So 
this is um, kind of this works against base because he is a uh, he can only do one point of damage at a time. Uh, so every time this every time a boss takes damage, he uh, they get some iframes, right? And it's like it feels like it's an eternity under certain situ situations. Oh, that's what I was waiting on right there. Oh, there we go. Do a few jump dashes. Like I said, I I um I enjoy this run specifically just for the movement that base has. Like it just to me it can't be beat. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of experience. Like I played Mega Man. Ooh, hey 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 hey. <laughs> the other thing, double jump. See, Mega Man wouldn't have been able to make it out of that situation. That's why we we go for base. <laughs> um. I've played like X one through three, and I feel like the sliding or the dash mechanic in these in, uh, in this game is a lot more fluid. I feel like that. I could be one hundred percent wrong, um, but as you can see, like I'm just he's just eating these bullets, right? Um, just because of all the uh, the iframes he's uh, getting between hits. So we're pretty much just gonna kind of stand in his face and uh, kind of be a little disrespectful. You'll notice that I'm positioning myself um, just so where my uh, shots are kind of going through the ice. And right now we're just kind of in a, uh, a little pattern here. Oh, missed him. You want to get rid of those, um, those cloud guys because if they touch you, then... Um, you lose your movement. You can't shoot. You can't. Uh, you can't do anything. I hey, guess what? Bye. <laughs> and that is uh, Maytag Man. Actually, I don't remember what his real name is because I've just called him Maytag Man from uh, Maytag Man from day one. I don't even know if it matters. Maytag Man is totally fitting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he had. That was kind of like a hard stance in that intro panel where they brought him in oh yeah <laughs> yeah <like> looking up <laughs> i mean I, that's one of the things i really like about the Mega Man universe all all the characters are like the most raw designs mm -hmm. and they definitely i don't know like I, um there are a few in the og Mega Man games but like this game and then like they the poses that they do in the x series like it really like i feel like it really adds character um, really amps you up for the boss fight. I, that's that's what it did for me anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, Chad's saying Cold, Cold Man. Man. And that was on okay. screen too. That's first. Yeah, Cold Man. And then Burner Man is next. Yes. Yeah. This is Burner Man. Um, this guy, he does not like to play nice. Um, all right, we'll take that hit. Um, just because he has uh, movement that I personally don't like. But we'll see if he uh, if he cooperates this time. Ladders are very hard <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Actually, Mega Man in general. I was watching Ryan, and he was. Um, I noticed he was kind of going through the same thing with a, with one part. So I think he can he can attest to the uh, to the ladder situation. So you can um, you can kind of just blow through that. We're gonna intentionally take damage here, drop down this way. Um, but I like to go through it the way that I do, just to mi minimize the amount of uh, hits that I'm taking. Up over him. I'm gonna use the ice to do an extra jump. All right. See if uh, Burner Man will play nice. Nope, he never does. That's okay. Ah! That's all my ice. Ah! 
That's okay. We got him. Oh, I had one more left. So you can lock him in place um, like you saw me do for the first two phases or for the first two uh, times that I hit him. Um, as soon as he comes back out, um, you just drop the ice block down. But what's happened, what happened at the end, what happened on the third time was uh, he still had some iframes as he was coming back down. And that is a, uh, as you can see, could be a very big problem. So we get the burner ability, burner wave, or wave burner, sorry. And we're going to go over to uh, Pirate Man, who, arguably, there are people out there who would say that this is the best song in the game. It's good, but I don't know if it's the best good. <laughs> Jump over here. Throw out our flame. Oh, they got me. They got me. They got me. They got me. That's fine. Okay. Get rid of these guys. Oh. It's okay. There we go. Do a little clip. little damage here. That's fine. Don't get hit by the well. Uh, well hits you for a lot of damage. Mind our jumps. All right. Now on to Pirate Man. It says something that I haven't played that game, but I recognize that song. That theme. <laughs> Kind of weird, right? Like you, you hear a song, you know you've never played. You know, in a game, you know you've never played. Yeah. Okay. What you, uh, you definitely want to be in with a little bit more health than this because you can, kind of, uh, you can just kind of eat the damage um, if you have high enough, high enough health because of all the extra stuff that he does, like throwing out the mines, putting himself in the bubble, and like raising the, uh, raising the water. So I have to do a little bit of uh, duck and dodge in there. Hartman gives us access to our uh, our mines. We're going to utilize that to um, and the other powers to get to get a few things to uh, help us get to the run. You saw me use the uh, the ice, and I, you know, I'm sorry that I uh, wasn't explaining it as it was happening. I use ice wall to do kind of like a clip up in that upper right corner um, to save a few seconds instead of going down, going around, and uh, climbing back up the ladder. Um, Ice is gonna be what we utilize the most. It's probably the most busted thing um, that we have in our arsenal. And I'm just stopping here um, to get some bolts. These are like the currency of the game. And we're gonna use these to get some, uh, some buffs. And these are gonna be the only buffs that we, uh, that we typically use in the run. Our way out. Uh, wow, we got a lot of, uh, I'll go ahead and do that. You can never have too many extra lives, right? Okay, ground men is next. What I picked up were, um, was an ability that increases your damage when you're in danger. So if you're at seven uh, points of health or less, uh, when you see kind of base uh, hold his arm, that means uh, he is in danger. Uh, we are going to be abusing that. All right, we're going to be abusing that uh, for the boss fights. So you're going to see me kind of like tank damage or just like face tank da damage as we go. Like there and there, this guy. Oh. This guy, we're not gonna do that with. We're actually gonna 
pick him up. We're going to activate our uh, ability. Throw out our minds during the cutscene. Activate it. Shuffle in the corner. There we go. GG's. You saw me doing a little bit of a shuffle there because I didn't want to risk it, taking any more damage from these guys. Um, they are not nice. <laughs> um, another thing you can do with the ice uh, ice wall is um, trick the game into thinking that you're uh, higher than you actually are. We're going to use it again to push through the sand. And that's what caused the, uh, the platform above me to fall. Get our minds ready. Drill man. This is the boss that caused me the most problems when I was running this game. I, I just, I couldn't figure him out. Also, I hate when he does this. I'm gonna bring him over here. Ah. So those drills, you don't really know what's gonna happen. Um, like it could stay, it, it could open, it could just go straight like that. So you're gonna, I'm just gonna kind of take some hits here just to get him back down faster. Uh oh. Oh, he got me again. Wow. Okay. 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 We're fine. We're fine. Like I said, drill man. He's 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 been my problem. Uh, <laughs> we'll play it a little safer. Try and keep track of how much damage I'm taking. Get over here. Okay, that's good. Okay, get him over here. Oh, he, okay. He wants to be difficult. Like this is the phase you don't want him using. There we go, all right. Oh, got a little rough there. Claps in the chat for Protocomi, everyone. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It happens. It's just a little, you know, everybody's gotten to a fight with the ground at, at one point in their life. <sighs> but that's the that's the worst part. That's the worst of it. Um, well, I say that. So we picked up uh, spread drill. So what you saw there is what I was anticipating um, when he would throw those drills out. All right, we're gonna go to our our uh, mandatory auto scroller, uh, Tengu Man. Tengu Man. Yep. Like bird. Like bird. Bird man. Bird. We yes. Do, like bird we man. We have to fight the cash money millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes us young moolah, baby. What's that? I said, I guess that makes us young moolah, baby. <laughs> Uh-oh. There we go. Give it to him. So, um, if anybody has played Mega Man 8, and you're wondering why a lot of these sprites look familiar, it's because a lot of this stuff has been reused. Oh, didn't want that. That's okay. So Tengu Man, um, don't get hit, is uh, one of those sprites. And um, 
It's funny because I didn't realize this until a little while ago. But you'll notice that uh, when you see Tingo Man flying, he's not really animated. He's kind of just doing his standing pose. Um, oh, a lot of health drops. We don't want that. Um, and it's just funny to see when you realize what's happening. Take some extra damage here. I'm gonna take a few hits from this uh, Joe, Sniper Joe. I think we are, okay, cool. Right at the, th oh, right at the uh, threshold, that's fine. Bird main's pretty simple. That's it. Ha <sighs> ha ho. We get access to actually what is this? Uh I think it's uh like a wind slash. I forgot what the name is. Alright. Tengu Blade. Should've known. Alright. We're gonna make our way to uh Magic Man here. <laughs> Mister, is this your card? Again, just uh, really good movement. Ah, that's fine. So what you're supposed to do here, um, you are supposed to wait on the train. You're also not supposed to jump in the pit full of gremlins. Uh, they love to steal your, uh, your money. <laughs> Eat the hit there. We got those two guys. At least they put. No, he's gonna go over. He's gonna take a little trip. We want him to come back because he needs to break this block back over here. There we go. Got the hit, but it messed me. But it messed up. That's fine. There's a way to get up here fast enough. Um, where you don't have to wait for this platform to come back down. Take that guy out just to get a little bit more health um, to cushion through these next phases. There's a spot where I'm going to have to uh, damage boost. Oh, 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 hey, hey, ice wall, ice wall, chill. Go. And we're right where we need to be for health. <clears throat> what you saw me do there? Um. Ooh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What you saw me do there was um, I uh, I canceled my movement so I wouldn't uh, run into him like that. Because um, when you have the blade equipped, um, you can't stop your uh, dash. So now we can just kind of... This is what I was trying to set up here. Okay, so you don't want to get hit with... Uh, you don't want to get hit with those cards because um, it steals life from you and goes back to him. I think it's only like three, three points, but it just makes the, uh, makes the boss fight a little bit longer. Magic Man can be a real card. He sure can.
I see the uh, was that a was that an MVC two reference? I hope it was. Uh, Zinfo Zinfo said the ice wall wanted to uh, <laughs> wanted to take me for a ride. Okay. Just a whole lot of movement, just getting through. Um, if you can get through fast enough on this part, you can avoid getting hit by those uh, monsters that pop up. Some damage here. All right. Do our first ice clip. Get rid of him. Normally, you would uh, kind of damage boost through it. All right. Oh no! That's fine. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. There we go. All right. And we've got one more ice. Make it count. Didn't work. Yeah, I think I was a little too close. There we go. All right, cool. We actually had two in the chamber. damage here. There we go. All right. Okay. We got the, uh, the pattern I like. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Relax. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to grab this real quick. Let's get our uh, ammo back up for this ability. So I never understood why this was his weakness. Um, I don't know if it's one of those things where it's like, this is a robot of science, so he doesn't understand like the concept of magic. That makes sense. One more hit. All right. <laughs> they are uh they're not playing nice today they're not playing nice today <laughs> so typically what i um he has two patterns that he likes to do um that wasn't the pattern that i thought it was um the pattern that i was looking for is he likes to uh, come come down below and like summon uh, summon uh, enemies? It's a little bit slower, but it's more guaranteed on. For me, it's more guaranteed on uh, on getting hit.
Okay, this to me, this is the best uh, music in the game. This is the best stage music. I'm pretty sure in like every stage, there's been at least one person saying, "This is actually." Yeah, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. <laughs> Everybody's got a favorite. <laughs> my favorite is the is the Capcom intro tune we heard. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I don't think they got to hear it. Man, that's a, such a classic. <laughs> like, you know, you know what game's about to be great. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, attempting to do a, an ice clip here that didn't go through, but it's fine. Um, it's not really that big of a time save, but it's really cool to watch. Uh, you're essentially setting yourself up, self up for a zip. That was uh, not supposed to be there. That's fine. Can't stand those guys. All right, we've got one more ice clip. Gonna navigate the uh, dark maze, and we out. And we actually have enough health to kind of just tank our way through. Okay, awesome. So his ability or his uh, movement is pretty straightforward. Um, at some point in the fight, he's going to yeah, do that right there. Have to knock out both of those uh, generators. Easy peasy. And so what you're supposed to, what you're actually supposed to do is you're supposed to get on one side, throw in your copy, and then get on the other side and shoot uh, to get rid of it. But if you jump high enough. You can set your um, your copy ability to just shoot through to the other side and get rid of it. Y'all, please give Protocomi a follow. I want to give him a quick shout out. This wasn't even his first run of UBAF. On uh, on Friday, we had Brave Fencer Musashi. So <laughs> go back and catch that in the VODs or on YouTube as well. Oh, you know what? We got to get out of here. So, thank you for that, Mello. Thank you. Um, really appreciate it. Um, we're going to finish up. What is this? This is, yeah. We don't normally grab the bolts here, but I'm going to grab a few uh, just for safety purposes. We're going to grab a few extra lives. Um, like I said, this, uh, this stuff acts as our... These bolts act, act, act as our currency. Wow, I can't use my uh, mouth words today. Interesting. We'll skip that one. This one is drill. Skip that one too. And this one's going to be thunder. All right, now we're going to take a trip to the shop. All right. I think uh, I think eight lives should be enough. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attempt to uh, do a specific ice clip here. Try it again. All right, we didn't get it. That's fine. So it's not really a big deal if we don't get it here, but there is another part in the game uh, a bit later where it needs to be done. 
It is a little bit easier. Oh, for me, it's a little bit easier for me to do. Um, just because there are there are more visual cues for me to uh, get that jump down. But essentially, what that trick does is it clips me into the uh, clips me into the wall, and the lightning ability has this weird property where I'm gonna grab this health. Um, if you're if you're stuck between a wall, um, it will make you go upwards. Um, if you jump while in the wall, it'll send you down. Don't touch me. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, nice. It's really funny because those guys almost never give me health. Like, ever. But I'll take it. Take hit. Take one more hit. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Nice. This is probably one of yep, and that's why I was gonna say this is the this is probably one of the worst fights um, because you have to position yourself to um, be close to the magma, and as you saw, it's a one hit kill. But being this close is the only way. Um, You can get him up to take damage. Oh, let me get out of there. Oh. He doesn't want to play nice. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, man. going to the uh, second fight. I think that boss was also in uh, Mega Man 8 as well. We're going to do a whole lot of uh, damage boosting here. I'm going to take the opportunity to Oh, hey, hey, hey. Refill some stuff. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we want that. Watch out for the gremlins. That's what I wanted you to do. And that's not what I want you to do. Okay, hold up. Gotta get him to run back one more time. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. And you're just not gonna do it. You're not. There you go. That's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. The ice wall. Nope. That's okay. Come on back up here. Don't touch the ladder. Give him the go up twice. There we go. Ooh. Okay. So, as you can see, that tank is a big pain. Um, 
We've got that guy, and we've got... Let's see. Grab that. Nice. We've got that guy, and we've got... Um, one more. Before we get to um, our final boss fight. One, two, four, five... Six. I'm counting tiles, or um, yeah, I'm counting uh, platforms. It's gonna go high enough. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You can actually get a hit on this guy early. That's one. That's two. That's three. <gasps> we didn't want that. It's fine though. It's fine. There we go. And we intentionally take a death here. Um, this skips a cutscene and puts us right into the last phase. Um, that, terrifi that, that platforming is terrifying, uh, mostly because... Yeah. <laughs> mostly because... Um, so you saw I was getting health and I was getting other... Uh, you, could not, you can get um, weapon uh, refills too, right? There we go. Um, there's also a flash grenade in those options, so he can 100% blind you, um, if you're not, uh, paying attention and trying to keep track of, you know, where the platforms are when you can't see the screen is, uh, not fun. We will refill burner. Okay, we got it. Take a few hits. Actually, no. We'll just keep going. Bye, King. Hello, King. <laughs> oh, that is not the right ability. What happened? Oh, you are on one, huh? Yep. <laughs> you are on one today, sir. All right, we're still good on um, blame. So he has uh, a number of abilities that he likes to do. He has a giant wave, he has mines, he has uh, the dash up that you saw. Has like the small micro bead, but so there are the mines. And he has the that thing right there. That is a uh Okay, you know what? We'll just do that. Cause it does take a while to charge. Um what he was charging was a pretty big beam. I think it hits for like 10. Um, under normal circumstances, you don't want to get hit with that. But I was in a situation where if I needed to, I could tank the hit. Uh, so flame is that boss's weakness. And the problem is that how flame works with base. So when the flame starts, it goes down and goes back up. So what you saw me do was starting the flame as I was jumping. That way, when I got to him... Um, it would, uh, it would hit him. Okay. And so now we are in the uh, gauntlet. And I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna intentionally take some hits here because we want to be, um, kind of in that danger spot. Which, by the way, his weakness is the last uh, thing that you get. Which I I don't like. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like that at all. Two, 
potentially take that damage. Let him do his dive. Okay, this is what we were what I was going for. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Let's see, what are we short on? You guys gonna be nice? Am I gonna get health? I'll get extra life though, that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he got me. Hold on. Just give me a little opportunity to uh, refill. Okay. We do want to be... in a critical state when we go in these boss fights. Otherwise, it's just going to take too long. I think he can actually outlast um, this ability. Jump back. All right. get an opportunity for some health here. Yep. Uh, let's get back up this. Nice. Do something here. And I want to say we're good on Ice Wall. Oh yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do here, there's a, there's a uh, ice wall clip you can do. What I'm going to do is, uh, Manip with Ice Wall. I normally do it the way I, I was doing it earlier, um, just to kind of keep him in one spot. This guy. Oh, actually, that works out. Cool. Some more magic man. There we go. Where are my cards? We'll grab that. Uh, those for the mines. Oh, you know what? We actually do need to be. I keep forgetting we do this fight in a critical condition. There are some fights you don't have to, 
Um, this guy, you definitely want to. Okay, man, <laughs> this guy. Uh, we want, we want Mom's back again. We'll take that, that's fine. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I think I've ever seen him do that. I got a death never happened before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you typically will um, take some damage. You'll typically clear out uh, most of those enemies with the um, with the drill just because um, that slowdown can eat inputs. I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Just, just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Wow, just right over it. And we're doing it this way. What is that? What is that? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have never seen this fight. <laughs> Cause it, normally I just, I'm, it drill is, drill just takes care of them. You're seeing a lot of firsts tonight. <laughs> okay. So lo and behold, the actual boss is, uh, Wily. Who would have thunk, right? Fight is uh pretty straightforward. <clears throat> kind of stand in place. I like to do that and just kind of abuse iframes just to keep from uh, taking any unnecessary damage. Oh, pfft, did it too early. Ah, we missed. That's fine. All right, time's about to hit. I'm the last. Time. GG. Oh man. So that went a little rougher than I uh, than I cared to have. <laughs> but that's the uh, that's the Mega Man and Base Run, and we are still we are still what is that? What did I see? Fifty one forty nine. We're still underestimate. Uh, it's still loading for me. Yeah, fifty one forty nine. That's fine. That's nice. That's nice. Um, appreciate you guys coming through and watching this run. Um, I, I really hope, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely, it's a fun run. Um, I probably didn't make it seem like it. Um, if you haven't played Mega Man and Base casually, it's definitely in the, uh, it's definitely up there, up there as uh, one of the Mega Man games. This one and Mega Man 8. If you like this one, you'll like Mega Man 8 too. Um, you guys can find me on uh on twitch uh you can find me on uh i was gonna say tiktok please don't look me up on tiktok <laughs> <laughs> same big same dog you can find me on twitch you can find me on twitter um 
I also run a uh, retro and repair shop uh, where I yes. repair and modify um, retro consoles. Um, I have a few on order right now. Um, I have uh, a guy who wants a um, an HDMI scaler for his uh, PS2 Slim. I have somebody who wants to do an RGB mod for his um, Nintendo 64. Um, I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, if you've got something that you want done, build, uh, don't uh, don't hesitate to reach out and ask questions. I actually have something that I like to show off because it is it is my baby, um, my literal child. <laughs> but it is a uh, it's a Game Boy Color um, that has a Suicun, um shell on it. What's cool about this though? It's not the shell. It's not the shell. It's actually the screen. So. The screen is an IPS screen, um, so it's very it's a very clear um, when you're playing going back and playing through your game. It has 15 adjustable um, brightness settings. Oh, I'm sorry, five. This one has this one has five. But the cooler part about it is that this little thing right here, where you see Game Boy Color, uh, you can actually change the color on that. Um, so I'm going to. Go to that option real quick. And as you can see, every time I press, so you can customize this thing however you need to, however you see fit. Um, this is just some of the work I do. I do uh, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SPs. I do PSPs. Um, I'm, I'm up there, man. I'm, I'm the guy. I'm the guy to go to for this kind of stuff. Y'all, y'all need to check out his Instagram as well. I, I love seeing Proto's uh, updates on all the different retro modding that you do. It's, it's such a cool business. Thank Please you. Please check it out for sure. Uh, I saw somebody say that they are broke. Um, I do have a website, and they do. Um, it does accept. Um, what is it? It's zip pay, after pay, um, those type of deals. So if you want to break your payments up into four or possibly six to make it a little cheaper for you you can do that um but that's that's all the shilling i've got <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think i guess we're coming back to me give it up once more for proto kami playing mega man and bass not bass like the fish great game <laughs> um and yeah this is unapologetically black and fast 2024 I got news, everyone. That is my time. I have been your humble host, Brutal Mellow, at Brutal Mellow. Just a guy daydreaming of being, being a, a witty side character in a comic book. But instead, I'm stuck in the real world. That's okay, though, because I get to be with all of you. And you know what? That's more than okay, because you can keep up with me everywhere at Brutal Mellow. <laughs> Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Now, I must say, before I go... Being a platform for black excellence or having one, it's not just a choice, it's a must. Our community is growing stronger every year. So let's ride this wave together. And until we meet again, stay epic, stay unapologetically black and fast. And remember that our journey is just getting started. But don't go anywhere because UBAF 2024 is far from over. Up next on the mic is the electrifying J-Rock the God. And alongside that, get ready for the King of Fighters 15. It's going to be all hands and all action. So stay tuned, stay hype, and thank you for supporting UBAF with your viewership. Until next time.